All right, one of the big pitfalls of working on outboards and or any marine engine is removing broken bolts. We have a bunch of broken bolts here. Boom, boom, boom. These are steel bolts and aluminum. Uh, everybody thinks they're compounded in there with salt, but it's actually aluminum oxide. This is our best technique that we found so far to get rid of them, to remove them. We use something called a turbo socket. This is a small one we're gonna hammer on there with a breakdown bar. The reason we use a breakdown bar is we can hit this with a hammer and not damage it. We'll tap it as we turn to a lot of heat. As you see the turbo socket is a left-handed thread that actually digs into the side of the stud. Even the studs there are the broken bolts are very short, but it still grabs. So hopefully this will work. We get these turbo sockets from our snap-on dealer. Um, I'm gonna give them a plug and get the whole set in varying sizes. And you'll see what I gotta do with them. They're, they break often, but they replace them consistently for us at no charge. And that's thanks to snap-on tools, mainly Steve Besade and Oren uh, McAvoy. Um, they've been consistent for 25 years coming to our shop. So you pay a lot more for snap-on, of course, but consistency, customer service, it's worth a lot of money. So we don't mind paying extra. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start heating it. Center bolt, start heating it. Um, and then this is a short heat. Um, We've been preheating it, but what we like to do is heat for at least five minutes. You don't want to have to do a timer, just have the radio on like most of us do. For about one song on the radio, then we're going to tap and turn. There it is. So we could spend over an hour drilling out one bolt. See how long that took, lock worker. That's thanks to turbo sockets, snap-on tool. Snap-on also sold us the breakdown bar. So, all right, that's it.